Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at a colossal light fury stuffed animal teddy. The biggest one on the market. Oh, oh here she is. I'm just kidding, of course. It's a it's light. It's a it's a teddy, you know. But this is the light fury from How to Train Your Dragon the Hidden World. The newest, the biggest, the best that's yet to be seen. We should unwrap her. Someone poked their finger in. It wasn't me, I swear. It's like some mailman has just been fondling her really, really roughly. The sack is open. Let's pull out by the tail the colossal Chandra Light Fury. Damn, she is a big specimen. Wow. Very lightweight, but whoa, 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 wiggly. Her wings are kind of like, ugh. Can we get them down, please? They'll come down in time, it's fine. So overall, first impression is cute, big, seems somewhat stable, somewhat sturdy. Uh, the tail length is decent. She's missing her tail fins though. Uh, light fears have two here, but she just has the tail ones and then her wings so that's a shame she's got the official dragon how to train your dragon her toes are this felt this is called felt 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 something like that. i think it's felt and only three of them she has four four normally so in accuracy but it's it's just toes but um, her legs seems somewhat sturdy she might be able to stand but i'm not sure that was a problem with the toothless one of this size he could not stand because he was too big and just not stuffed well enough if you look at her face she has her big um, blue eyes just me poking her in the eye and then a little mouth you can kind of see the stitching kind of roughly it does look like a smile which is nice got the little nostrils very cute and also a mouth on the other side she has this sparkly fabric, you can probably tell. She looks extremely glossy, which I think is cool because the light view doesn't really have rough scales. She has this very, very fine, glowy type, almost salamander-like skin, rather than toothless, which has rough scales like a reptile. Uh, she is a reptile, of course, but she has more delicate skin than the other dragons. Her ears are stuffed two big ears and then she has more felt right here kind of like the lazy solution with this felt also the wings and the tail as well this tail is burst <laughs> it's all curled up so i'm gonna put her in some sort of compress and then they will straighten out uh, but they got bent in shipment she's not gonna be able to fly with this pathetic <laughs> pathetic tail she has a very like dinosaur type body look at the the arch back she's like a fat triceratops or stegosaurus or something these even look like stegosaurus uh, plates armor plates <laughs> so she could go for for that i'm really happy with the glow though she looks very nice with the this really really fine you can see the sparkles there really clearly i think it's really really pretty for her and works perfectly for her life fury now she is gonna stand the test of time we're gonna try to see if she can stand up on her own because I'm not sure she can. So let's get her on the ground and see how she performs. And now is the moment of truth. Will she be able to stand on her own with her small claws and her lumpy legs? Let's see. <gasps> she does it! She stands. How stable. Oh. 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 She's somewhat stable. Very good. Very good. This is toothless. <laughs> They're too big to be in frame. Stop being colossal. Alright. So, toothless appears very, very sturdy, right? That's because I cut him up and fixed him. But I'm not really a seamstress, so he has this... This, this cut in his... In his, um... <laughs> It's actually not that clear, but he has a cut under his tail where I split him up. 
and then I stuffed more stuffing in him because he was falling over. So now he stands, but he needed extra care. She can live on her own, which is a vast improvement. So these two are the biggest Fury plushies you can get out in the world. I think they're cute, they're obviously stylized, but I think that they are really adorable and they do what they're supposed to do and they do go well together and she is slightly smaller than him her face is slightly slimmer and then um, different shape to her which I appreciate because Toothless is a little bit larger than the Light Fury so that works out just in their favor if I had to compare them I would say that Toothless is slightly better because his wings have a better shape a little bit more thought same with his tail fin and he has his secondary flaps uh, at the root of the tail and she doesn't, she's just like a long worm and then with the, the fins on her tail but I do think that the standard is overall the same with both of them so I'm pretty pleased with her I think that they go very well together and she was definitely worth picking up so thank you so much for watching this review of the colossal uh, Light Fury Teddy